Hey guys, Buffalo here. A few weeks ago, I made a video testing buckshot patterns or spread on these 18 by 30 targets, cardboard targets. And the intention of that video was to see how far away we could shoot these targets and keep all nine pellets of the double lot buck on the target. We ended up at 30 yards with the standard wad and uh, the flight control wad put us on out to 40 yards. So today we're gonna test some slugs and see how far away that I can get in 10 yard increments and put two shots, two slugs on one of those same targets. Now, using the same shotgun, this is a little home defense uh, Mossberg Maverick 20 inch cylinder bore barrel. So everything's gonna be the same and uh, I'm gonna shoot two shots with the slugs because you know anybody could get lucky and and hit it once. I wanna make sure that I'm finding my maximum range with the slugs. So I've already got a target set up. I've got my eyes and ears on. Got two slugs here in the mag tube, so let's get started. All right, so I can see from here the big holes. At 40 yards, we know we're good. I'll go tape those holes up and we'll move back 10 yards and try again. All right, so here we are at 50 yards. And I'll be using the laser range finder to measure these distances so I get them as accurately as possible. Let's see if I can put two more on it. All right, I can see that I did hit it. We'll tape these up, move on back. All right, here we are, dead on at 60 yards. Let's see if I can still hold two on it. All right. I can't see with my naked eye from here if I hit both times. I can see one hole for sure. Of course, I've got the second camera running, so you guys already know if I, if I hit it or not. So go check it out. If I hit them, I'll tape them up and we'll move back. All right, so you guys already knew, but I did get my two hits at 60. So here we are at 70. See if I can get my two hits. All right, I'll go check it out, see if we need to move it back again. All right, so here I am at 80 yards. Pretty long ways for a short barreled home defense style smooth bore shotgun and cylinder bore uh, shooting slugs. Don't have any kind of like ghost ring sights or anything like that, just got the bead up front. So this might be the end of me right here. Let's try it and see. <laughs> well, I didn't see any holes up here, but I can't see the target very good from this distance. I'll have to go down and check it out. <laughs> Guys, I honestly can't believe I've, uh, I'm sitting here at 90 yards with a little defensive uh, budget shotgun. I thought, I honestly thought when I started this uh, test that somewhere around 70 or 80 would be my limit. Uh, 
I was actually, I can't even see my holes when I shoot, so I was a little bit surprised that last time at 80. But here we are at 90. See if we can pull it off one more time here. <laughs> the wind's starting to pick up too. Well, you guys already know, but I'll have to walk down and take a look. Well, guys, here we are at 100 yards. <laughs> Somehow managed to get both of those on there at 90. Now, notice my table sitting here. This is from when I was shooting the Marlin 39A the other day. So I already know this is 100 yards. I'll double check it. Spot on. Let's give it a go. I don't know. I'll have to go look. All right. So I know you guys already know, but I got one on target. So what does that tell you guys? Well, maybe nothing. What it tells me personally is with this shotgun from a standing position, about 90 yards is my maximum range to be able to consistently put slugs on the target now I could shoot this over I could take that hole up and shoot this over at 100 yards and probably have a good chance of putting both of them on here the gun is shooting really consistent which is just another uh, that's that old Mossberg Maverick that budget shotgun uh, it surprised me in the buckshot test at how well it patterned and it surprised me at the slugs but it does really well but I could shoot this over and it wouldn't really tell me anything I already got the information I want to know. My maximum range on a man-sized target. This is a 18 by 30. It's about 90 yards. So we know what to do with buckshot. We know what to do with slugs. Now, I know what most of you guys are thinking. If you're going to be shooting at this range, you probably get a rifle. And, and I agree 100%. I just wanted to get out here and test myself. Like I say, from the standing position with this particular shotgun, because I want to learn all I can about it. And really, I think you guys should do that too. You should pattern your shotguns. If you're going to be shooting slugs through it, you should learn your maximum range. Uh, you never know. This one happened to be hitting about where I was holding. Some may hit high, some may hit low, some may hit left, some may hit right. The important thing is to get out and try your shotgun. Uh, that's why I said this test may not have told you anything. You have to test with your shotgun. But this is Buffalo. That's all I got for today. And I'll talk with you guys again soon.